So that brings us to, based on what you were just saying in terms of getting the staff to feel that they are comfortable in, in terms of that belief and moving on that idea of being able to elicit high intellectual performance, I'd like to talk about how you created what I like to call an architecture of support, that kind of thing that both from a metaphorical and an uh, inspirational or a literal level in terms of not only the support process, but that vision. Talk to us about your unified district vision. Um, it really started, I think, about halfway through my first year in the district. We were having these uh, conversations about our beliefs and the impact they have on our students' success. And I think we had some principals who said, we asked if I could articulate a district vision and some things that wouldn't change from year to year because they really felt that they hadn't had that in a long time. And I said, well, yes, I think we can do that. Um, so we entered into a process. And, and the reason I right away said yes is because I had heard some themes through our conversations uh, coming up over and over again. So we went through a process. We got a representative group together, teachers, administrators, others, and we said, okay, what would that look like? If we were to articulate our vision and what's important to us, what does that look like? And they came up with a set of things that include, that include a number of things, high expectations for students looking at everything from an equity lens, using best practices, including response to intervention, positive behavioral interventions and supports, collaborating through effective professional learning communities. And so they came up with this vision and they called, and we called it the Unified District Vision. But before we then, the next step was we went to all our schools and our other buildings, our programs, community ed programs, and other programs, and they asked staff, okay, what are the suggestions for modifying this vision? And um, really, we had no suggestions for changing it. <laughs> now, I don't know what that means. They hadn't really processed it at each building, and what it processed and said, yeah, that makes sense. That's what we're about. But so we came back with no changes to it. And that was our really originally a staff document and a staff approach regarding unified district vision. Well, we were able over time to uh, reallocate some of our resources and put more financial resources into professional development. Because I saw what we were doing in the area of professional development district-wide. We had had a relationship in our middle schools with the National Urban Alliance over the years, for quite a few years, right. but it really wasn't that deep in that we had uh, a teacher from each middle school who had been trained. And then they worked with, with staff at their middle schools, and they only had uh, a fifth of their assignment devoted to that. So as I looked at where we were in our conversations, it seemed to me that what National Urban Alliance had to offer, and I was familiar with working with them from a prior district I had been in, I thought there could be some real benefit. But I know, I figured, me just saying that wasn't going to get it there. So we sent some district office administrators and some principals to the summer academy that was here in the Twin Cities. And they really came back excited and inspired about the possibilities. So from there, we were able to then, in succeeding years, expand our partnership with National Urban Alliance uh, to now we're doing training in all our schools with our staff. So then, as that became more infused throughout our system, uh, we worked with the school board. And uh, Dr. Jackson uh, had a couple of professional development sessions with our school board. And as it came time to uh, look at a new strategic plan, one more, a strategic plan was adopted shortly before my arrival, a year before. And as it came time to look at doing a new one, uh, I had conversations with the school board about our unified district vision, which they, they had heard about. And I suggested that we use that as the framework for our new strategic plan and our strategic planning process, and that we have a more focused plan that really is around student achievement and student learning, uh, knowing that we will do all the other things associated with that, the finances, facilities, et cetera. But really, focusing on what our main business is, and that's student learning. So the board was enthusiastic. We enthusiastically embraced that. And so that served as a framework from our strategic planning process. And I